welcome back to the channel if you knew I'm Katie um, so today's um, video is going to be a bit different so um, if, you, if you knew um, we are a family of five from North Wales in Anglesey and my um, so there's my husband Simon and there's Jack who is seven Ellie who is six and Caillou is two but one of the new not a new New Year's resolution but one of them is to try and shop locally so that's what we have got today so I've got two um, two boxes here um, from the butchers really don't know what's in them I asked the butcher the local butcher I've had meat off him before um, I've got a hundred pounds worth uh, I want a hundred pounds worth of meat from my freezer so I really don't know what's in them so I thought I would record what I've got from the butchers um, milk and the market so we've got first oh steak mints so we've got steak mints, we've got two of them, and then all oh, the children want of these, southern fried chicken strips, so it's one of them, and you get one, two, three, four, five, six in, so that's quite a good meal, um, and then we've got another pack of them. Then we have got some homemade burgers. So we've got oh, there's four in a pack. So you can see. Um, we have got a pack of back bacon, and this is white. Right. So three, not point three seven six kilograms. So quite a, a big bit. Um, we have got a big piece of gammon steak. I think it's one, but I would cut that in half for me inside. Um, so that is 0.476 kilos. Then we have got um, boundless pork chops. So you've got four, but they're quite big. I could put sausages or something with it. Then I have our, um, two chicken breast fillets, and they are 0.43 kilos. So these are ideal for chicken curry, sweet and sour, whatever you want. I'll press so far. Um, I have got some bacon chops. That's quite nice. Um, 0.470. So, yeah, I think you get four. That's quite nice bacon chops. I've had that for a while. Uh, what we've got here? Another piece of gallon steak. 0.38 kilograms. We've got some plain pork sausages. So 0.390 kilograms, so they look really nice. So we've got another pack of plain pork sausages. And then we've got some salt, is it pepper, salt? I think it's salt and pepper, I think, yeah. I don't think Simon will have these, um, but I will have. So, I think it's salt and pepper. Well, they look quite nice. Um, I think they would be nice for them. Um, I know Simon won't have them. And then in the last of this box, we got a grain fed chicken. Um, and this is. 1.494 that would be fine for us so a nice size of that and then in the next box this. next box 
Um, we've got two um, two packs of eggs. Eggs are handy to have. A good size as well. So I've got about twelve eggs. So that's two packs. Um, pack of black pudding. Then I've got so it's nice diced beef, and this is one point zero eight five kilograms. So I will separate them into bags, um, so I could do a stew or or a pie with it or something. And then I then there is. Barney's pork loin that looks really nice, that does. I've had Barney's for ages. So this is 1.21 kilograms. So that's that. And then got some diced chicken breast as well. And then some might have this as well. This is a garlic and butter. Um, garlic and butter press fillets and these are 0.48 grams that'd be nice like with some rice and salad then I've got um, oh, silver star silver side salmon cut beef um, that's a nice piece um, and I do all my my joints in a style cooker, so I'm quite pleased with that. And then last, one more thing. Last thing is a massive piece of horse show gammon joint. And what I'll do, I think I'm going to cut this because this is um, a two pound gammon. So I'm thinking I'm going to cut it in half. That is all my meat. So if I just quickly just put this in the box. Then we went to there's a milk place we go to to get our milk. So we got um these are glass bottles. So we've got two milk. These what this will last us till Monday. And then Simon got look at these little cute bottles. Um he got a I'm not that like, keen on the milkshakes if I'm honest because I like my milkshake really thick so um, I've had them, they're quite drinkable but I just don't, I just don't um, so this is a rhubarb custard one then we have got no spice, it's unbelievable when you shop don't you then we went to the market there's a market by also I got some carrots. These were a pack of carrots for a pound. What did do those bad? Then I got a big broccoli. This was a pound. It's quite a big one. Um, and we've got a Savoy cabbage. I've not one for ages, so I thought that'd be not quite nice. With veg, um, with mash or something. This was a pound. Um, I've got an iceberg lettuce. And then the next bag. I've got some, I know they're not in season, but I do like them, they look quite nice. They are from Spain, but they look quite nice up there. Um, I think it's a pound. I don't know if it's too bad. Um, got some raspberries, some blueberries. These are from Spain, I think. They're not in season anyway. But... And then I got um, a head of broccoli. Um, the same. Then I got uh, these was four. I think these are smaller ones, I think. Pure gala ones, so I got four. They were four for the pound. Um, cucumber, 
Um, Ellie loves cucumber, so she'll eat most of that. Bananas. And then I got um, a red pepper and a yellow pepper. We just like the sweet peppers, and they're quite big, so these will last. And then we got um, celery. And the last two things I got was some cut, and these are like seventy p. And these are some cut, cut beans. And the last thing I got. Was some little um what's that some is easy peels and these are ten for the pound so I was quite pleased with them because I keep all them through. So I spent at the the, the market was twenty pounds fifty, what I don't think is bad for all my fruit and veg. I will be going back and then I spent a hundred pounds on my meat and then it, I think it's about three quid for my milk so that's what we got today um i am filming this on friday the 20 28th so um that's what i got so i can just sort of show you we're trying to be more local source area i don't know if anybody's doing that we are so we will love you and leave you and let you go so if you like the video if you give it a good thumbs up if you'd like to subscribe that is um would be excellent just press the subscribe button down below and i would like to know do you shop locally like at your butchers and your markets and that kind of thing so i would love you and leave you and i'll see you in the next video bye